Good morning, everyone. Ah. Let's start the morning meditation by welcoming Shimataji into our meditation space. And let us all bow down to our Holy Mother, raise our Kundalini and put on a bandhan and settle down into some quiet meditation, listening to some music called The Heavenly River, Jai Shimadachi. Shri Nirmala 
Sorry, I'm not sure what has happened there. So I think we should sing ourselves the three great mantras, followed by the three Ganesha mantra. Om Tvameva Sakshat Sri Maha Lakshmi Maha Saraswati Mahakali Trigunat Mika Kundalini Sakshat Sri Adi Shakti Mataji Sri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Om Tvameva Sakshat Sri Kalki Sakshat Sri Adi Shakti Mataji Sri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Om Tvameva Sakshat Sri Kalki Sakshat Sri Sahasrara Swaminini Moksha Pradainini Mataji Sri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Om Tvameva Sakshat Sri Kalki Sakshat Sri Sarasrara Swaminini Sakshat Sri Adi Shakti Mataji Sri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Now we can sing one mantra to Sri Ganesha Om Tvameva Sakshat Sri Ganesha Sakshat, Sri Adi Shakti Mataji, Sri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha. We'll say one mantra to Sri Adi Guru Dattatriya. Om Tvameva Sakshat, Sri Adi Guru Dattatriya Sakshat Sri Adi Shakti Mataji Sri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha I also say one mantra for the Nabi Sri Lakshmi Vishnu Om Tvameva Sakshat Sri Lakshmi Vishnu Sakshat 
Sri Adi Shakti Mataji Sri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha The Guru Mantras It represents our depths and gravity and the element for the Guru principle is the water as, and that nourishes us and gives us our depth and our gravity. Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Deva Maraswara, Guru Sakshat Parabrahma, Sri Mataji Nimlama, Tashmaya Sri Guruva Namaha. The Guru is Brahma, the Guru is Vishnu, the Guru is the great Lord Shiva, the Guru is truly the Supreme Spirit, Immaculate Mother Sri Mataji. To you, our true Guru, we bow. Today, this morning, I have come across a talk uh, which does talk about the Guru Principle, and it is a Sri Maha Lakshmi Puja talk from Belgium in 1986, and it's titled Maha Lakshmi Puja, the Principle. So let's hope things will play. Today, <coughs> we are going to worship the principle of Mahalakshmi in Belgium. Belgium has a speciality that it creates glass bangles for the mother. That is the <coughs> bangles which are used as a beautiful musical accompaniment to the gate to all the movements of the Goddess. It brings a delicacy in a woman and gives a consciousness to the man or the men that there are ladies around and the ladies are around who are married ladies are very auspicious and this auspiciousness is the one that is going to bring in this country or in any country whatsoever all the blessings. Also in Sanskrit language the bangle is called as Valaya. And that is the last stage which one has to reach in one's ascent. That means a complete. Also we are having here the puja for Holland, which is the Chala Devata, is the goddess of water. It comes from the word Mari, the word Mary, Mariam, all these words come from the word Mari. 
In Holland, as you know, the sea is above the land. We can say that the guru is sitting at a higher position than the chela. And his knowledge is channelized uh, into various channels. And all the wealth, the money uh, that is earned out of marine activities flow through the greatness of this ocean. So Dutch people are highly blessed people. They are very tall because the Tatraya is a very tall personality. And if they become conscious of their position, one day Dutch can do a lot in the realm of God's work. But all the kind of trouble in both the countries has come because they have not paid any respect to their guru, which is the ocean. They exploited <coughs> and took advantage of the sea, but never realized what the sea means in the religious aspect. The Lakshmi came out of the sea. That is the wealth that has come out of the sea. But the wealth has to be like a Lakshmi. The Lakshmi has a motherly nature. She's a mother. Mother, she's a mother. She is standing on a lotus. That means she does not throw her weight anywhere. Like people go and occupy other territories and use them for their own purpose, we'll never give them Lakshmi principle. Only thing that may happen to them is to get some money for the time being. But they say that Lakshmi is chanchal, means she's all the time shifty, and she shifts. Such a Lakshmi is chanchal, is shifty. Lakshmi has got one hand which is giving, like this. Another hand she has got by which she protects people. In two hands she has got pink lotuses. The pink lotus suggests the warmth. A person who has got Lakshmi has to have warmth in his household. He must have uh, in his heart warmth to deceive people. A lotus flower receives even a horrible beetle, black beetle, which has got all kinds of thorns in it and allows it to sleep overnight as a nice guest. In the corona of the lotus, there is beautiful spread of the yellow-colored pollen on which this beetle uh, rolls and enjoys the comfort. And the lotus watches the enjoyment of the beetle. It does not get disturbed, it does not get upset, uh, and when the lot lotus uh, opens out, the beetle just goes away. And the lotus still grows, it doesn't die out. In modern life, we don't want guests. And if some guests come in the house, they dare not even spoil the carpet. We clean the house, we polish all our silver and all our brass, 
but we don't want even a little rag to come inside. For whom are we doing all this work? There are no children in the house and the old people are in the old house. Children are in the hostels and the husband wife are in the divorce case. But they are very particular about their brass being polished. So the whole polish has come outside. So the beauty of lotus flower is that it is all embracing. It's a very motherly uh, principle. It tolerates any kind of nonsense from the beetle. So one of the aspects of Mahalakshmi is Grihalakshmi, is the one who is the housewife. And if this aspect is spoiled, then we cannot have uh, Lakshmi in our house, we cannot have wealth in our house. The Lakshmi will disappear from all such houses where the housewife is not respected or the housewife is not respectable. The another aspect of the Lakshmi Tattva is that she gives protection to some people. That means ashraya, means there are people who are supported by such a person. I do not know how you people run your orphanages here or how you manage your charities, but in India if a man or a woman gets money beyond a certain point, she will take out at least one-tenth of that money for charities. And she will also have or he will have money or he, uh, any shelter or anything for people who are working for him, ashraya, or working for him. I have seen many people who are rich, but they are extremely beggarish. They have no dignity of any kind. They will come to your house and they may even ask for an empty tin. An empty tin? Empty tin, yeah, there are people. What is empty? Empty can. Oh, oh sorry, <laughs> I didn't understand. Or else, uh, if you go to their house, they'll give you or offer you something which is left over. So there is no dignity of any kind in this. It's without any self-respect. Because if you have self-respect, how can you behave like this? Then there is another aspect of Lakshmi where she is proud like an elephant. She has a propensity. She is not like a mosquito. I mean, many people think that these days to be mosquitoes is very good, but I think uh, if you have mos mosquito-like personality, nobody respects you. They all think you must be some sort of a uh, typist or maybe some sort of a person or doing some sort of a menial work or working very hard that you have lost all your weight. So a, pers a Lakshmi has to have a gravity. But nowadays the whole thing is changed. I knew Belgian people long time back, they were all having some propensities, they were rich people even the Dutch. But now both the countries have perhaps become poor, so people look like mosquitoes to me. Dog. So, a person who has got money doesn't jump like a monkey but walks like an elephant in a dignified manner. But sometimes I have seen in the West people like, walk like horses. In India we had a wedding and we all ladies were walking in the procession. 
And we saw one lady in the middle of the whole crowd, just coming up and down like a yo-yo. <laughs> so we couldn't understand what was this, who is this lady. Then we discovered that one Indian had married an American lady. And when she was walking, she was walking like a horse, between all the Indian women singing, she was walking like a horse. You see. So you have to be like an elephant when you walk, Gajagamini. That's one of the names of the Goddess. She walks like an elephant in a swingy way. The Shalupi. reason, you see, also... Did you say that? Yes, Shri uh, And the Kundalini also. You see, doesn't agree very much with the horse movement. Because if you move the Kundalini up and down, up and down, she doesn't know where to go. That's <laughs> <laughs> but you see, elephant's walk is left, right, left, right, left, right, it goes up properly. Mais la démarche de it is the central path. So it's not very, very good to walk in that fashion if you have to establish Sahaja Yoga properly. Now the Mahalakshmi principle comes out of the Lakshmi principle. That is when you have wealth and when you have acted according to the image of the Lakshmi, then the Mahalakshmi principle rises within you. Now the Mahalakshmi tattva, the principle is that you start thinking only about your spirit. When you are absolutely satisfied with the material wealth, then you start coming to the Spirit. It was nice that people were seeking material wealth and had industrial revolution in a way. But as a result of that, you do not find that the greed has gone down. On the contrary, it has increased. And the lust has become so perverted. So we can find very clearly that we have failed the principle of Lakshmi in our societies, in our families, in our uh, governments. So the understanding of spirit is only possible for people who have understood the meaning of Lakshmi principle, first of all. So the purpose of Lakshmi is only fourfold. First is that you have to give. It's not like in the church they will say, all right, you have to give your money, give it to me. It's not that. <laughs> because I don't want anything. But you have to be generous by nature and not miserly. Supposing you have one door open, no air will come in. Only the air that is sufficient for the room will be there and there won't be any entry of new room, or new air or more air or any draft inside. But if you open the door, another one, then you will find there will be a circulation of air. So by generosity the circulation starts and you solve your material problem. The another principle which we should follow one of generosity, another of supporting others. Especially among Sahaja Yogis, we should try to help each other. May not be with money, but with moral support. But if you have to support sometime, someone, with money, you should do it voluntarily without even thinking that you are doing any obligation on that person. Or else you can think that I am doing this just for my own pleasures. The third great quality of the Lakshmi Tattva is that it is respectful to everyone. But we see the other way out everywhere. A person when he becomes rich, he becomes very arrogant. That's a sign, as we say, of a Navarish, a person 
who has suddenly got the money and he doesn't know what to do. Supposing somebody is sitting on a donkey and suddenly he gets a catalog, then what will happen to him? He won't be able to bear that. So this quality is we have that we should respect others Satish. and we should understand that if we have money, we haven't got everything. For example, in India, a saint is respected higher than anybody else, higher than all the artists, higher than all the painters, higher than all the kings, all the governments. Highest is the saint. So if you are a rich person, you will be known by your respectful behavior towards everyone. This respectful behavior you can also show to things of others. But such a person would respect the all auspicious things. Like there could be a small uh, monkey nut, but you say vibrated. Should be much more important than the diamond of the same size. So this quality, when it develops in a human being, then we can say the Mahalakshmi principle has started. Now in all of you, Mahalakshmi principle has been awakened. Mahalakshmi recites the Sushumna Nadi. And Sushumna is developed only up to a point in human beings. It is later on uh, like a bridge built in, uh, is created by Mahalakshmi principle. That means a person who is satisfied, who is in balance, who is dharmic, his ocean becomes uh, desirous of becoming the clouds of uh, this Sushumna Nadi or the path of Sushumna. This desire creates this path, this bridge of Sushumna within us. Unless and until Mahalakshmi principle is awakened within us, we cannot make the Kundalini pass properly because it will always get lost in the world. So the dignity, the respect of a Sajogi will always help him to build this path of Sushumna over the void. It is not some sort of an artificial respect or an artificial etiquette, but is a feeling from inside, a kind of a state human beings reach where they feel that it is important that we have to be respectful to everyone. But the Lakshmi principle disappears with certain things which we must know. First of all, it is said in Marathi language that if uh, a bottle comes from the door, the Lakshmi goes, runs away from the window. So the bottle must be kept out if you want to keep Lakshmi inside. Then another thing is a badha. When a person gets possessed, anywhere if there is darkness, then Lakshmi runs away. In these circumstances, one must try to clear out so that there is no problem. If there is a badha, then money-wise you cannot be all right, whatever you may try. These two things, if you look after, the Lakshmi will stay. And it... on the satisfaction of that Lakshmi, you will build up your path of Sushumna. So for today, I have told you, what is the Mahalakshmi principle is. Now, if Mahalakshmi principle is awakened within us, then the Lakshmi just runs after us. In the Western culture, what we have done is to <coughs> bring Lakshmi to the level of only money, that also in paper. Uh, and it is so artificial that people don't know how suddenly they become bankrupt. So the innate Lakshmi principle is to be understood that you Sahaja Yogis have a special responsibility for all these Western countries which are 
slowly <laughs> losing all their wealth and the third world will have all the money donc euh, <laughs> donc les sages occidentaux we we are responsible for shri mataji no, no. just tell you no. i'll tell you what we didn't create so many machineries in the third world because these machineries are just like devils they go on taking away all that is materially important no. all the matter they eat and create all kinds of nonsense like plastic this that and once something goes from their mouth and whatever comes out is of no use later so all those things are becoming useless so all the discriminatory use of this kind of uh, policies have uh, exhausted all your material wealth which was there from the mother earth now when that is exhausted then on which you can depend is your paper money i have always said that machine is for you and you are not for machine so why go into the uh, complete uh, subjection of the machinery like this now the computer has come and after some time we our computer will be useless we will be just using the other computer but situation may arise that there will be nothing to eat there will be nothing to create only you will be making 1 2 3 4 5 and add them up and subtract them <laughs> so now one should stop and go back a little bit and see where have we gone wrong let us correct at that point and once one realizes that it is important to keep a balance on the navi chakra then the mahalakshmi tatva is properly manifested also it is vice versa if your mahalakshmi tatva is awakened as it is awakened in you you can create balance being auspicious in nature through you it will happen that the prosperity will come back when i went to italy first time they told me there are three problems one is mafia another is violence and the third is poverty and all that looks so great like a mountain has all dissolved into thin air now and the day may come when italians will enjoy the greatest of wealth and <laughs> we'll send the tape to Guido Shri Mataji <laughs> and, and we will discover one more thing that so far all the europeans used to laugh at italians look down upon them though they were the source of your art your music all kinds of beautiful creativity but you all used to laugh at them because they were rich in their heart and simple hearted dignified they did not put their pressures on you so donc their lakshmi tatva has become a mahalakshmi principle in the same way i would request you the sajogis not to worry as to what is happening around but to worry what is happening inside and build up your mahalakshmi principle once you have built up your mahalakshmi principle you will have no problem at all then to you the mahalakshmi herself will work and fill your countries with great bounties and great joys may god bless you Let us put our attention on our central channel, the Shushumna Nadi, and let us desire a path that rises and crosses the void, so that the Lakshmi principle becomes the Mahalakshmi principle. Shri Mataji, 
may be we may we be generous of spirit may we support others around us especially other sahaja yogis may we be respectful and dignified and as Sri Mataji said, let us walk like an elephant from side to side and may the Mahalakshmi principle rise up in us. Let us say one mantra to Sri Mahalakshmi Ganesh. Om Tvatmi Mahalakshmi Ganesha Sakshat Sri Adi Shakti Mataji, Sri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha. Now we can settle down into a quiet meditation. I'll put on some music, the Sahaja Yoga Mahalakshmi Srotam. And when that's finished, you can bow down to Mataji, tie up your kundalini and put on a bandhan. Thank you for all joining in, in meditation today with everyone. Namaste to Mahamaya Shri Pite Dura Pujate Shankha Chakra Gadahate
Mahalakshmi, salutations to you who are Mahamaya, who are the seat of wealth and beauty, who are worshipped by gods and who have the conch, the wheel and the mace in your hands. Jay Sri Mataji. can finish up with the last of the three great mantras. Amen. Verily you are Sri Kalki, the goddess of the Sarastrara Chakra, the Divine Mother, who gives spiritual liberation. Immaculate Goddess, we surrender to you. Jai Sri Mataji. Thank you for joining in this morning. I hope you've all had a wonderful, joyful meditation. Take care today as you go out into this world. May everyone be kept safe in Mother's love. Jai Shumataji.